Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to another comparison video on the new Vintage Tube EQ in Logic 10.4. It's new to Logic 10.4. This is one of the uh, three new Vintage EQs in Logic 10.4, part of the Vintage EQ collection. What I'm gonna be doing today is comparing this to a very, very popular EQ out in the market right now, and this is the Waves Tech EQs. It's actually two different EQs. It's the EQ P1A and the MEQ5. So these are both from the Jack Joseph Puig collection from Waves. They're they're great plugins. I've used them for years. They're they're awesome plugins. But I really want to compare them to the new uh, Vintage Tube EQ that comes now with Logic 10.4. Um, it's no secret that uh, both of these sets of plugins. Uh, mimic the Pultec EQ P1A and MEQ5. The P1A is a high and low frequency EQ, and the MEQ5 is a mid frequency EQ. And they're often paired together in studios. The hardware units get paired together and used in series. And that's what I'm going to do today for these examples. I'm going to use it on uh, in series on just a master bus of a mix that's already been mixed with no mastering plugins on it whatsoever, on a drum bus, and then on a guitar bus. So let's get into this. Now, before I do an AB of these, I want to point out a few of the differences. Some of the, the advantages of the Vintage 2BQ are that some controls that were fixed controls on the original units, the original hardware units, and in the Waves units, uh, for instance, this low frequency control here, um, that are fixed controls are now variable controls over here, which that's really, really cool. I find that a really useful um, addition to the plugin, and it's it's almost, I again, don't kill me when I say this, almost an improvement upon the original. Now, given a real Pultec EQ really fucking rocks. I've used them time and time again. They're awesome hardware units. They're great for mastering, so don't get me wrong. I'm not saying any plugin is an improvement on the original. What I'm saying is that they took the time to add an additional feature that wasn't originally in the hardware unit. And they've done it with the drive knob. You can add a drive to it. You can also customize the output model. So you can actually grab the output model, uh, the output stage from any of the other two vintage EQs and make them the output model of this uh, EQ. So that's really cool. It lets you sort of customize uh, the sound uh, and the features of the EQ. And you can also choose between linear and natural uh, phase. So you can put this in linear phase mode and now all of a sudden you've made this, you know, perfect for mastering because the bands aren't going to create as much noise and as much phase cancellation, phase interaction. So anyway, let's get into it. Enough, uh, enough of that. The very first example is just a full mix. Uh, what I'm going to do is play the mix dry pull in the tube, uh, the vintage tube EQ, pull it out, and then I'm gonna pull in the two waves uh, plugins. Um, so just watch over here to see uh, which plugin I have in at what uh, point in time. And I've done my best to try to pull down uh, the volume on the output stage on all of these just to make sure that uh, it, I'm not, you know, you're not just hearing something that's louder. In this first test, I really like the Vintage 2BQ more so than the Waves plugins. Just my personal taste, this seems to have more heft to it, more body to it, more roundness to it. These, they sound good, but they just, they're not killing as much of the sort of fizzy sound that the original uh, dry signal had. So that's just on a, on a full mix. Let's try it out on just a drum bus. Let's move over to this clip here. Here's what this sounds like dry. And I'm gonna try this out again. I'll do the same thing. I'll jump back and forth between the 2BQ and then the uh, Puig text. So here we go.
again, I'm I'm liking the vintage 2BQ more. It's it's uh, it's giving it that roundness, that body, but it also has more clarity than the Puig Techs do. And by the way, if I didn't mention this at the beginning of the video, all of the settings I'm using are identical. In fact, some of the settings on the Vintage 2BQ I had to adjust to basically make them the same as the Waves plugin because, you know, for instance, I couldn't make this high frequency control here 6 because, you know, although there is a, a 6K control here in the Vintage 2BQ, there isn't a 6K control here. It's either 5 or 8 because it's a fixed control. So I, f I found myself dialing in settings that I liked with the Vintage 2BQ and then having to go back and tweak them to fit the settings on the Puig Tech. So again, there's just that extra level of control. And so far, I'm liking the tone of the Vintage 2BQ better than the Puig Techs. All right, so next let's move on to guitar, just the guitar bus. Same song, but just isolated uh, left and right guitars. So let's give this a shot. So here's what the sounds like by itself. It's a little thin, it needs a little bit more heft, a little less of the raspiness. So I'll, again, I'll do the same thing. I'll play the original and then I'll kick in the, the, uh, the 2BQ and then go back and forth. Yeah, on that example, I'm kind of torn. I, I like both of them, but I like the little extra bit of sort of mid-range push that the Puig Techs are, are giving the guitars. But overall, they're very close here, so I'm not really favoring one over the other. What I will say to conclude is that I'm extremely impressed with this EQ, the Vintage 2 EQ with Logic. In my last comparison video, I compared the... Uh, vintage graphic EQ to the Waves API counterpart and I didn't I wasn't able to really draw any conclusions. I didn't like one more than the other. It just seemed like the Logic plugin had more of a, a dra more drastic effect than the Waves plugin did. But here with the the Vintage 2BQ and the Puig Techs, I'm really favoring the the Logic stock EQ over, you know, a, a plugin that I paid money for. So, that's just my honest opinion. That's my honest review. I like the tone of it better. I like the functions of it better. I like the additional features better. I like the output model feature. I like the the ability to choose a uh, natural or linear phase. So yeah, I'm, I'm preferring this Vintage 2BQ and I'll most likely be replacing uh, the Puig Techs with the Vintage 2BQ. So I really wish I had a real EQP1A from Pultec to compare this to, but uh, up at the studio, we do have a Pultec, a uh, pair of Pultecs, but they're the passive Pultec EQs, not uh, the 2BQs. So, but whatever, it is what it is. All right, guys, I so hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video and thanks for watching.